All right, guys, so today we're going to do something a little different for the channel. Now, most of the time it's either car content or recruiting or something else. But one of the things I've wanted for a while was some custom shirts for Basin Motorsports. Now that I'm going more towards that branding and that, I wanted to do something different. So today I'm going to make some custom shirts. <music> This week, uh, a local craft store was having a sale on a lot of stuff. So for $3, I got some shirts. They're all large. I've got a gray, a blue, kind of like a sapphire blue, and a black. Now also they had iron-on rolls of material. So I got a kind of like a silver. I've got a white. And then I've got kind of a metallic blue, I guess. So today I'm going to do some custom t-shirts for Basin Motorsports. So the logo I have in my mind, um, obviously I've got some pieces here to trace out letters. I went on the internet and I found a profile of a Mustang Coupe that I'm building anyway, so it's gonna go good with what I'm working on. You can see it's roughly the width of my chest. And so what I wanna do is I wanna have a t-shirt with Basin, the picture of the car and then motorsports across here and then on the back I want to do basin motorsports down in a vertical line now it's probably gonna be basin and then space next to it is motorsport so outside of those each of these rolls whew, which are cricket brand they're just a roll of material and these were about I think I think they're on sale for like 25% off so they're six or seven bucks so looking at this most of the time I'm gonna have about five dollars per t-shirt in material and then I'm gonna think maybe about 30 minutes and or maybe 45 or to an hour so by the time you factor in your time into it maybe you have 10 15 bucks in however you equate your time into it so once I have your uh, profile of the car I found off I printed it to size the what I wanted and then I've got my pieces here to trace out the letters so lettering t-shirts and everything else this is how you make some simple custom t-shirts for yourself. All right, so the pieces here, the letters are an inch and a half tall. And since this is my reference, I'm gonna do this and I want to do it easier. So I'm gonna use a pen, makes it easier to write. And I'm gonna do it backwards. I'm gonna do it from the back side of the material. Why is that? Because if you flip it over and do it the, this way, you're gonna leave a pen mark around there. Now, if you don't mind doing that, when you transfer it over, to your t-shirt you might have ink on the front of it which may or may not look great so I'm gonna do it on the back side so that way if I leave pen on the back side it won't come out to the front and it really doesn't matter so I've got a simple ruler here now I just measured these are an inch and a half tall so from the top edge is gonna be the top of the letters I'm gonna go down the side and I'm gonna measure an inch and a half down and I'm gonna make a mark and then make myself a line across so that I can basically space the lettering as it should be, but I'm not gonna get it started walking it down the material and waste material. It's gonna be all in a single file line. It'll be nice and easy. And then I won't have to worry about funky cut letters or cutting angles or anything else. It should give me letters square to each other. And then once I cut them out, I can also easily tape them together with some masking tape, then put it on the shirt and iron it on. So now if you see, I've got a line, that's an inch and a half. I'm gonna start with motorsports, which is a very long word, but hopefully I can spell it backwards. Motorsports, here we go. All right, so there is motorsports. Ta-da! So now this is the backside, so obviously if it's looking at me, it's gonna read right. So it'll be nice and glossy on the front. So what I need to do now, as you can see, comes to here. I obviously have all of this on the side to do still that I can use for later on. I'll put the basin right underneath it. I'll then put the profile I want on it. And then I need to take the time to cut out each letter, make sure it's aligned to where I want on the t-shirt. And then use it just a simple iron and a cloth and transfer that heat over. All right, so now we have everything cut out. It took me about three hours, honestly, so I think I said 30 to 45 minutes. 
it's so many letters and all that stuff. It just took me probably like two or three hours. So it's late in the night and I did some chores and a bunch of other stuff in there. So I've got a lovely assistant giving me a hand, more or less doing it for me because I'm not an ironing guy. So what she's doing is, is we've placed everything on there. So we started putting the base into the top. We then did the car. I did cut the windows out of the decal. I think it just added a little bit extra, which really just kind of didn't pop to me. And I hate that word pop, but there it is, pop. So what she's doing now, she's got her ironing board down. We put the shirt down, we put the lettering down, and she's right now doing the car. And so she's put a towel overhead or over top, I guess. And then she's putting the iron on there roughly 30 to 40 seconds to get the adhesive on the back of the lettering and the car itself to adhere to the shirt. So she's then checking it. And that might be good or bad, but piece by piece, we're going to get there to the end. All right, so we finished all the ironing. Thanks to my wife who gave me a help or really did it for me because she's afraid I was going to burn it. So... Here's the front, Basin Motorsports. Here's the back. You can see it's kind of vertically down. Off center would be over the right shoulder because I'm right handed. So the goal of this whole thing was to make custom t-shirts, my branding of what I wanted for cheap, for low cost frugality. So I have roughly about $8 into these t-shirts. So three in the shirt. The roll of material was about nine bucks on sale. I used roughly a third of it, so consider that three bucks. And then time, probably about two or three hours to put them in there just because of the so much of lettering. So now you can make some shirts out there of what you want for less than 10 bucks. You know how to do it. The key is buy the materials when they're on sale or clearance or whatever you need and make it happen. So I'd love to see what your projects are and what you've come up with. And that's it for this time on the channel. So that's how to make custom t-shirts for you for low cost, less than 10 bucks. These will be outside on the channel, of course, and in public events. And they will definitely be exclusively the only shirt I will wear, unless somebody's paying me, on the Enthusiast Toolbox, which will debut soon. See you next time.